Happy noon, happy noon. Everybody's okay today? I trust you're okay. You see my chart here. This is a very famous picture. A vulture is stalking a baby. Uh, I think maybe up to seven years old. And it's a Pulitzer Prize winning picture. This uh, little boy was going towards a United Nations camp in the famine. Let me read it to you. It says, Kevin Carter's Pulitzer Prize winning photo taken in 1994 during the Sudan famine. The picture depicts a famine-stricken child being stalked by a vulture. The child is crawling towards a United Nations tool camp, food camp, located a kilometer away. Now it says no one knows what happened to the child, including the photographer, who left the scene as soon as he took the photo. He later confided in a friend that he wished he had intervened. Uh, journalists at that time were warned never to touch famine victims for fear of disease. Uh, three months later, and only weeks after being bestowed with the Pulitzer Prize, Kevin Carter committed suicide. Now this man, Carter, took this picture. And that's an amazing picture because if, if you know about vultures, they only go after something that's ready to die. If it's this close to dying, then the vulture is going to try to get it. Otherwise, the vultures are in the sky or in the trees. But if the if the victim is ready to die, then the vulture. Okay, you see the name of the chart. Acts 1-8 is fulfilled by Acts 8-1. Persecution by Satan. Now, in every book, there is a uh, introduction and a summary in every book and every chapter. Now, the book of Acts, the... Uh, introductory statement is a promise from God but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and the uttermost part of the earth uttermost part of the world now what if they didn't fulfill Acts 1 8 they just sat around and they said well that was talking about somebody else that's not talking about us <laughs> What if they didn't fulfill Acts 1-8? Well, Acts 8-1. There arose a persecution of the stoning of Stephen, and the people, the Christians, were forced to go everywhere, running for their life. And they ran for their life, and you know what? They went everywhere preaching the word, men, women, and children. And so you, my friend, the Bible says to you, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16, 15. You say, Brother Jim, what does go ye mean? Ye go. <laughs> you say, Brother Jim, that's too easy. No, go ye means ye go. That's right. Now, life is short, death is sure. Sin the curse, Christ the cure. Many backslidden have surrendered to the mission field, will have it the worst. There is coming a persecution by Satan, worldwide Christian persecution. And you were supposed to go, you were supposed to go with the gospel. The people you were supposed to go to were like this victim here. Satan and his dogs are ready to get Satan and his dogs are ready to get the victims that you are supposed to win to Christ. Yeah, it's tragic. Okay, look over here. It says here, number three, pews all over Georgia are full of preachers. Georgia in the United States, the churches are full of preachers. Go ye means ye go. Uh, Acts 1 is a, 1 8 is the only five step growth you can find in the whole Bible. You should receive power, one. And you should be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, to 
Judea, Samaria, and out of most part of the earth. You're supposed to start at your church in your neighborhood, and then you're supposed to work your neighborhood, and then your city, and then your county, and then the out of most part of the earth. Just a couple more here. Judgment has come, and it will be bad. Proverbs 28, 27, He that giveth unto the poor, the gospel poor, nations, he that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. What a sad, sad thing. You can give to the gospel poor. You can give the good news very easily. You know, you just reach in your pocket, pull out a track, give you something to read. Ah, uh, yeah. But he that giveth unto the poor shall not lack. But he that hideth his eyes, oh, I don't have to go to the mission field, shall have many a curse. Proverbs 11, 27, let me read them. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel shall save it. You save your life by working for Christ. Now look at my verses here on the bottom. Proverbs 11:26. He that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse him. You have to give the food of the gospel to the hungry souls. They're going to die without you. You should uh, be ready to commit suicide like this Kevin Carter. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. And you're not wise if you don't win souls. You are unwise. You're a fool with many oaths. Proverbs 14, 31, He that oppresseth the poor reproaches his maker, but he that honoreth him hath mercy on the poor. You're not having mercy on the people you're supposed to win to Christ. There's going to come a persecution upon you. I mean, God is going to make sure you regret not going because you are supposed to go. There's two things you are supposed to do. Yeah, there's two things you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go with the gospel. And you're supposed to stay in fellowship with Christ. 1917, he that hath pity on the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which is he hath given, he will, will he pay him again. Proverbs 21, 13, whoso stoppeth his ears at the poor, cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. Proverbs 22, 9, he that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth his bread gospel bread to the poor. The Bible says, cry aloud and spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. One of the most interesting statements in the whole Bible is Peter opened his mouth. You, you search your Bible program on opened his mouth. There's so many disciples that opened their mouth. Now the people you are supposed to win to Christ are like this right here. Satan's dogs and vultures are ready to get them. Now we've started a little work over here in this military base and pioneering a church on the, on the island. And we go down to the uh, jail down here and visit with the inmates once a week. And we have services. And I want you to know, it is a fruitful blessing and uh, I want you to have a part in it. Pray for us. Thank you. This is Brother Jim. If you need me, this is my email address. Thank you. Thank you.